What's up, YouTubers, and welcome back to Tony the Technician's channel. And today we're going to be going over a review of a new product I got. So, if you guys watched my previous video on my Matco MD70 scanner slash code reader, you guys will know what it is capable of and what it's not capable of. Um, it wasn't able to pull an SRS code from my wife's car because it was a 2009 Kia Spectra. And that model of uh, Matco scanner doesn't actually do uh, foreign cars as far as ABS and SRS. So, Launch Tech USA hooked me up with the Millennium 90 and we're going to do an honest review on it. I'm going to give you my personal opinion and please let me know what you guys think of it. If Also, if you've used it uh, or own it yourself, please let me know how it's been for you. But uh, this is the top scanner as far as this category, their Millennium category of scanners. So it's pretty nice. Uh, we're going to unbox it, go over the details of it and uh, see what it can and cannot do. But as far as if you're a do-it-yourselfer or just starting out in the automotive field, I think this style of scanner slash code reader is great. It's much more advanced than your just normal code reader, but it's not as advanced as your higher up Snap-on and Matco with the lab scopes and everything like that. But that's, that's really good for a do-it-yourselfer or a starting out automotive technician because most likely you're not going to get put into a situation right off the bat of trying to do an, an in-depth electronic diagnosis on a car. Uh, these will enable you to enhance your diagnosis skills when it comes to electrical and uh, once you get the, the hang of using these styles of code readers or scanners uh, then you can advance. It's also going to save you from spending you know a couple thousand dollars right off the bat on those real expensive scanners. So these are great, they can do a lot uh, and they can really help you out. So we're going to take a look at this and I really hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, please make sure to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and as always, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Also, make sure to check out the description. I will try to have this link down in the description as well as some other tools that I suggest. Thank you guys so much. Let's get into this. Here it is in the package, the Millennium 90 from Launch Tech USA. Now, you need to be careful when ordering these online because sometimes you will find scanners uh, almost identical to this and their other lineup as well. Uh, when buying this online through like eBay or Amazon, make sure that it's actually through Launch Tech USA because you might not be getting the exact same product if it's not through Launch Tech USA. And those products may not have the same features as this. So just be careful with that. But this ha does have master reset capability, supports SRS, ABS, OBD2, and OBD1, uh, but you will need to purchase the extra cord for it. It is able to print, it does have graphing, diagnostic trouble codes, live data, and you can record and play back data. Here they have the comparison of the Millennium 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and the 90 and what it's all capable of. Now the coverage, here are all the vehicles that it covers or manufacturers. So this covers not only domestic, but foreign vehicles as well. One thing I do want to check out is if the graphing capability is for separate graphs or if it lays uh, each graph on top of each other. That That'll be something we'll have to figure out. We're going to go ahead and open it up. Here's the scanner itself. Uh, it's got this nice little rubber boot around it, all the red. Nice little boot here. The buttons don't feel cheap at all. That feels of quality. It's actually pretty light. Uh, not much weight to it at all. Here you have this little uh, cover on the bottom that covers up the SD card and the USB port for doing the updates and stuff like that. And then here is where you'll actually attach your OBD2 uh, connection. Here it is, comes with a nice cap over it. So we'll go ahead and get this set up and connected and see what we can do with it. But it also does come with this nice uh, little carrying case. Open it up, you got some uh, quick instructions. Got a couple pouches in here actually, a couple Velcro straps. So I'm guessing this is the pouch for the actual scanner. Here's the part for the USB. That seems to be it as far as what comes in here. That's nice though. Uh, I don't like leaving my code reader out in the open, so it's a nice little case. So we'll go ahead and get it set up and uh, see what we can do with it. So here it is starting up. One thing I do want to mention about these is the fact that 
almost all, if not all, of the LaunchTech USA scanners come with free updates. So anytime you need to update, I believe on all of their scanners, it is free. I know for a fact all the Millennium and uh, CRP models are free downloads, so that is good. I'm not sure on the warranty. I couldn't find anything on the warranty, but I do know that they do have a two-day turnaround on problems. If you do have a problem, you ship it to them, and they'll have it turned around and back to you within two days, which is really nice. Uh, that is on the rare occasion that you do have a problem with these. It's not too often you have a problem with a scanner, so uh, just a little bit of information. There. Let me go ahead and get the car started. Alrighty, so here you got diagnose, uh, record, settings, and help. So under the help, you have your DTC location information. You also have a DTC library, so if you get a DTC, you can input uh, what it is and it'll tell you uh, about it. Abbreviations, tool information about OBD. Then you have settings where you can go in, change the language, unit of measure, the beeper, record mode, and all that. So under Diagnose, you have Scan and OBD2. So if we go to Scan, it has a large list of vehicle manufacturers. I really like the button setup on this, how it actually has a click to it. Uh, it feels really good in the hand. So a lot of different makes here. So mine is a 2012 Chevy, so here it is, it's a GM. So we're gonna go, you can see you have diagnose, oil lamp test, brake reset, and steering angle reset. So those are really good functions to have. Uh, we're just gonna go to diagnose, and then select that version. Manually select, it's a 2012, it is a passenger car. And then you have your Chevrolet, Buick, Cadillac, and Holden, it's a Chevrolet. And the fourth VIN letter is a Z. So here you can see it comes up with Malibu and that's what my vehicle is. And then you can check body. You got the inflatable restraint sensing and then the chassis, you get the electronic brake control module. And we actually go to OBD2. Entering the system, it's gonna do its little tests. All right, so then you get all of this. The mill status is, is off. I don't have any check engine codes or anything like that. Uh, readiness complete, eight. Readiness not supported, two. Data stream supported, 39. A Little bit of information right there. And then you can read codes, obviously. I just told you guys, the vehicle has no fault codes. You can go to erase codes. And then the data stream, you go to ECU one. Here is where the, the graphing actually comes in. And let me go ahead and shut this AC off. Okay, so you can view all items. And it has a lot of information here. Hopefully you guys can read this. So fuel system, one and two, calculated load value, engine coolant temp, short term, long term fuel trims, intake manifold, engine RPM, vehicle speed. This is in kilometers. I can switch that to miles an hour. Here you just have a lot of information here. Throttle position, oxygen sensors, once again, short-term fuel trim. Fuel level, numbers of warm-ups since last DTC was cleared. Distance traveled since then. Uh, uh, control module voltage, a lot of good information here, guys. So for a scanner of this size, uh, it really does have a lot of capabilities and it can read quite a bit. So once again, there's your different uh, accelerator pedal positions and throttle positions. Alcohol fuel percentage is at 9.8. But then when you get to the graphing capabilities, you can view the graphing items. And let's say it can support four graphs at once. So you can look at the short term, long term fuel trim. I'm going to select those. Then we're going to go back. It's going to take you to the actual graph. And it's going to show you the red line is your short term fuel trim, and the long term fuel trim is the black. So it's pretty cool. Now, the downside to this is that this is probably the only negative I've found so far about this Millennium 90 is the graphing capability is great to have in a scanner, but 
when you have it all on a, a screen this size and you can't zoom in or out, uh, if you have four items selected, let me go ahead and show you. But when you go to viewing graphic items and you select the same things, it's gonna pull up the graph. And since you have four items selected, red, black, blue, and orange, so you know which one is which. But as you can tell here, with it being all on one graph instead of them being on individual graphs, it does make it very, very difficult to see what is actually going on. So I think one improvement for this scanner would be to actually be able to put uh, different selected items on different graphs so you can look at them individually. Uh, like the Matco scanner, it'll put the short term on one graph, long term on one graph, and you can watch them right above each other. So the graphing capability is great, but it would be even better if they were on separate graphs. I just wanted to show you guys that. And then you have freeze frame data, which probably won't have anything right now. Yeah. So then you have a oxygen sensor test, onboard monitoring. You have all of these items that you can select. The EVAP system te uh, test and vehicle information. Since when you're under OBD2 mode, it actually does self-scan the vehicle and uh, it will pull up your information here, the VIN and all of that. So, like I said, that's manual enter mode where you can do uh, those other tests, bi-directional commands and stuff, very limited, but still very handy to have. And then your normal OBD2 where you can graph and everything like that. So we're not quite done. I will go over a little bit more when my wife's car gets here. I will see if we can pull up that SRS code. 2009 Kia Spectra. As you can tell here, the airbag light is on and will not shut off. My Matco scanner was not able to read the code. Uh, I did have to use a snap on one. The reason the Matco one could not is because it is only set up to read the SRS and ABS codes on domestic vehicles, not foreign. So here, I'm gonna see if I can read it. We're gonna go through scan, go find Kia here, diagnose. It is USA. In general will give you everything uh, where Kia is uh, made or sent to or you know sold. So here we're gonna go down and find Spectra. Here it is. 2009. 2.0 liter. New automatic. Airbag, read fault code, and here you can see the occupant classification system matte defect. So it's not the clock spring, it's actually the defective part in the passenger seat, the part that tells the airbag to turn on for the passenger. Uh, so that is what's setting off the, or the SRS light, and it is actually covered under warranty, so we are calling Kia in order to get this uh, taken care of. So this Millennium 90 is able to pick up uh, SRS codes on both foreign and domestic. Okay, YouTubers, so that's my kind of quick review over the Millennium 90 from Launch Tech USA. Overall, a really good product so far. Only time will tell as I get into more uh, electrical diagnosis and uh, see what it's really capable of. But overall, first opinion or a quick review, I think it's a really good product, especially for the price. Uh, this Millennium 90 runs around $200. Now, Launch Tech USA, if you haven't checked them out, they have a huge lineup, uh, all the way from your basic code readers up to very advanced uh, scanners and code readers. So check it out. They got the CRP uh, lineup, the Millennium, and then they got their bigger stuff as well. Um, really good stuff, and they're really good about taking care of their customers as well. Uh, while talking to Launch Tech USA, I had a great conversation with them. They're, they're really good people. Um, overall, I'm happy with it. Honestly, I think it might have more capabilities than my Matco scanner. I think it shows more information, it has more bi-directional commands, and uh, more tests that you can run on a vehicle. But the one thing that the Matco scanner that I own does have over the Millennium 90 is the capability of graphing multiple items on separate graphs where the Millennium 90 graphs up to four items on one single graph. So if you're looking at four items, could be kind of a pain in the butt because everything's kind of jammed together. 
But overall, that being the only thing that I don't really like about the Millennium 90, I think they've done a really good job of setting up how this thing operates. It's really easy, it's user friendly, and all of that. So if you guys are interested in the Millennium 90 or any other tools that I have in my toolbox, I do have a large list of tools in the Millennium 90 down in the description for you guys if you're interested. So if you're interested, check it out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and as always, subscribe if you're not.